proudly announce the formation of the UF Health Cancer Center at Orlando Health. Orlando Health and the University of Florida Health have announced that today they join forces to establish one of the state's largest cancer programs. The research and the scientists from University of Florida are really a great addition to our team. You have the best minds looking at this from both UF Health and Orlando Health. To have access to additional trials and new treatments is so important because every person's cancer is different. National Cancer Institutes, uh, Florida is, is significantly underrepresented. That's why we're here today to highlight an $80 million investment in our budget this year that will go towards making Florida the number one state for cancer research and for cancer care. Governor Rick Scott just made a multi-million dollar announcement he hopes will bring new treatment and technology in the fight against cancer. Bringing an affiliate to Orlando, what that means is we will be able to provide for anyone impacted by cancer all kinds of different types of support services. Healing through art. That's a cool concept. Artist Angeline Watson visits UF Health Cancer Center at Orlando Health twice a week to help patients. We get to see a different side of the patients and they get to understand that about themselves. Making the rounds at the Orlando Health Cancer Center can actually include a few smiles. Both organizations partnered up to help fund the hospital's pet therapy program. The presence of pets does help to reduce stress, calm fears, and anxiety. Lymphedema is when the fluid that bathes all of our cells can't drain out of an arm or leg after surgery or radiation. Dr. Richard Klein is one of the first surgeons in the country and the only in Florida who knows how to treat it. That led Katerina to the University of Florida Cancer Center at Orlando Health. Some 2,500 miles from home. I think it's more relaxing if you can have your family around and be able to entertain. Uh, it's less stressful. Dr. Feiner posted information and advice on his office's community page. I got a huge flurry of interest from it almost immediately. And somebody posted that they had had this surgery and how happy they were. It's 12.30 at News 96.5. Our top story, Orlando Health getting a big delivery right now. Today, the Orlando area took another step toward becoming a destination for medical treatment. A special delivery made to Orlando Health on Sunday that will help its multi-million dollar facility. Three lanes of Orange Avenue were shut down as a proton accelerator, it's called, was lifted by a crane. We've been working on bringing proton therapy to Orlando since 2006. This will revolutionize treating people with cancer. We are currently one of only five centers in the country to have this particular technology. At 58 tons, it's the weight of seven fully grown elephants. Having those options right here, I think, is a big help, um, certainly. Amazing strides have been made in recent years to help people improve the quality of life for those affected by brain cancer. Today we're going to explore that. For the past several years, we have largely treated cancer patients as a group based on their diagnosis, lung cancer, breast cancer, or particular types of brain cancer. And uh, it has a very unique anatomy that makes a big difference when it comes to trying to treat tumors that may affect the brain. Some of the best treatments we have now in 2014 have come from research that's been done in the past, and obviously the, the road forward involves in getting patients today to participate in clinical trials. Part of our obligation as cancer doctors is whenever we give a treatment, we have to explain all the po possible complications. Dr. Veronica Shimp is a gynecological oncologist at UF Health Cancer Center and a big proponent of Gardasil. For you, the benefits outweigh the risks. Absolutely. By and large, most skin cancers happen in folks that are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Dr. Rebecca Maroos at UF Health Cancer yes. Center says this is the bottom line. I would talk to my personal physician, first of all, I would assess my personal risk. In general, the population can benefit from taking aspirin. In an unprecedented move, the retailer says it will take all tobacco products off its shelves by fall. Specifically being from the cancer center, we see that the majority of cancers are related to smoking directly. What we'll hope is that other big providers will follow suit. They say, yes, I have been here, I have been there. I say, don't worry. So do you think cancer is being overused, that word right now? 
Well, potentially it is. If you find these things really early, it's virtually curable with just surgery alone. We now know that even at the 60% of the patients can get damage to the heart. Todd and six other cancer patients are getting the makeovers of their lives. Even though they're going through treatment and they've, under, they've had those changes, that we give them a moment that we can lift them up